Owl 2.0 for Fugsoid I. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by Tumblr, blogging hysterical naked, dragging themselves through the 4chan threads at dawn looking for some tranny dicks, angel-headed hipsters burning for the Facebook heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the Machen area of night, who poverty in tatters and hollow-eyed and high sat up smoking in the supernatural darkness of LCD screens floating across the tops of desks contemplating gifts, who bared their brains to Google Map how to get under the L and saw Cory Archangels staggering on Boing Boing posts illuminated, who passed through universities with radiant cool eyes hallucinating Lauren Conrad and Blake Lyle lively among the scholars of blog, who were expelled from the Ethernets for crazy and publishing obscene odes on the windows of the 95, who cowered in unshaven chat rooms and underwear, burning their CDs in wastebaskets and listening to the soldier boy through the phone, who got busted in pubic forms returning through Flickr with a belt of JPEGs for found, who made fire in MS Paint Intels or drank martinis in Silicon Valley, death, or purgatory their inbox night after night night with delicious, with dashboard, with waking nightmares, read bull and cock and endless balls online, incomparable blind, tweets of Amazon cloud and lightning in the modem leaping toward poles of atom for atom, illuminating all the motionless world of internet time between, P2P solidities of halls, backyard green tree cemetery dawns, wine drunkenness over the rooftops, Storefront burrows of tea head joyride neon blinking traffic light, sun and moon and tree vibrations in the roaring winter dusks of Brooklyn, Ashkin rantings and kind king light of mind, who chain lettered themselves to email for the endless ride from blogspot to holy blogger on common meme until the noise of hard drives and hamster dances brought them down shuddering mouse racked and battered bleak of brain, all drained of brilliance in the drear light of dot zip, who sank all night in submarine light of Rhizome floated out and sat through the stale gif afternoon and desolate nasty nuts, listening to the crack of M.F. Doom on the Pandora jukebox, who blogged continuously 70 hours from bed to desk to kitchen to toilet to desk to the Apple store, lost battalion of platonic conversationalists tweeting on the stoops on fire escapes on window sills on Empire State out of the moon. ROTFL screaming vomiting whispering facts and memories and anecdotes and eyeball kicks and shocks of YTMNDs and YouTubes and space ghetto posts, whole intellect disgorged in total recall for seven days and nights with brilliant eyes, memes for the ad agency cast on the pavement, who vanished into nowhere Zen live journal leaving a trail of ambiguous picture postcards of triangles in space. Suffering email sweats and terabyte disk grindings and products of China under dirt style withdrawal and not cots bleak furnished room, who wandered around and around at midnight in the MySpace blog wondering where to go, and went, leaving no broken hearts, who lit cigarettes at keyboards 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 rackling through spam towards lonesome render farms in bang late night, who studied Zuckerberg Jobs Duke Nukem of the disc telepathy and bought DFA records because the cosmos instinctively vibrated at their fingers in iTunes, who loaned it through the book's marks of J.O.D.I. seeking visionary internet angels who were visionary internet angels, who thought they were only mad when Balmer gleamed in supernatural ecstasy, who jumped in bandwagons with the dipset of no homo on the impulse of winter midnight torrent light small town rain, paws who lounged hungry and lonesome through gawker seeking news or sex or soap, and followed the brilliant seagull to converse about lol cats and shack, a hopeless task and so took ship to the Pirate Bay, who disappeared into the volcanoes of GeoCities leaving behind nothing but the shadow of dancing gifts and the Java and ASP of poetry scattered in fireplace homes Ted, who reappeared on the Kanye West blog investigating the M.I.A in leggings and shorts with big pacifist eyes sexy in their dark skin sending out incomprehensible Facebook invites, who burned trapped in the closet DVDs in their drives protesting the third season of Flavor of Love, who distributed macro media wares and lime wire weeping and undressing while the sirens of Lars Ulrich wailed them down, and wailed down Kazaha, and the souls you users also wailed, who broke down crying in blue screens of death naked and trembling before the machinery of other skeletons, who surfed the channel streamed the wire and shrieked with delight.
here in chairs for committing no crime but the show's own wild cooking pederasty and intoxication, who howled on their knees in the office and were dragged off to their desk waving blackberries and powerpoints, who let themselves be fucked in the ass by saintly fixed gear cyclists, and screamed with joy, who blew and were blown by those human seraphim. The hipsters, caresses of Bushwick and East Williamsburg love, who bawled in the morning and the evenings in coffee shops and the Dolores Parks in free Wi-Fi spots, scattering their semen freely to whomever come who may, who hiccuped endlessly trying to giggle but wound up on the fail blog behind some epic fail subpar post when cute overload kitties and puppies came to pierce them with a sword, who lost their lonely girl 15s to the three old shrews of fake Greg Goodfriend. The one-eyed shrew of the heterosexual dollar ramesh finders, the one-eyed shrew that winks out of the womb and Miles Beckett, the one-eyed shrew that does nothing but sit on his ass and snip the intellectual golden threads of the craftsman's loom, who masturbated ecstatic and insatiate with a bookmarked list of free porn or red tube vid a megarotic NSFW vid a clip hunter vid and fell off their chair and continued along the floor and down the hall and ended fainting on the wall with a vision of ultimate cunt and come eluding the last jizen of consciousness, who downloaded the snatches of a million girls trembling in the sunset, and were red-eyed in the morning but prepared to twitpig the snatch of the sunrise, flashing buttocks under barns and naked in the lake, who went out whoring through me seed connections in nerve.com stolen virgin cards, to Kerr Max, secret hero of these poems. Cox's man and Adonis of douchebag joy to the memory of his innumerable lays of girls in empty lots and bully backyards, movie house parties Beatrice ends, on rooftops and cubicles or with gaunt public relations chicks and familiar L. Train lonely pet hiccoed upliftings and especially secret podcast stations solipsisms of John's and Midtown Alleys too, who faded out in vast sore empegs, were CTL alt deleted in dreams, woke on a sudden Brooklyn and picked themselves up out of basements hung over with heartless mp3s and horrors of exhibit yo dog memes and stumbled to unemployment websites, who blogged all night with their socks full of crud on their OS 10 docks waiting for a door in the blogosphere to open to a room full of friend requests and YouTube hits, who listened to suicidal tendencies on the apartment cliff banks of the Hudson under the World Trade Center blue floodlight of the boom and their heads shall be crowned with turban and oblivion, who ate the value meals of the dollar menu or digested the ice lumps at the muddy bottom of the rivers of McFlurry, who wept at my chemical romance in the streets with their iPods full of onion podcasts and bad music, whose files sat in drop boxes breathing in the darkness under the 2 gigabyte file limit, and finally were downloaded to Blair Mastercraft in their roommate gluttered lofts, who coughed up knockhead pics on the fourth chan of be crowned with flame wars under the carpal tunnel sky surrounded by orange crates of theology cliff notes, who typed all night rocking and rolling over lofty incantations which in the yellow morning were stanzas of gibberish, who saw rotten.com animals lung heart feet tail Seinfeld and Taco Bell dreaming of the Terry Schiavo kingdom, who plunged themselves under whole Foods trucks looking for a wireless signal, who threw their storm, trademark, 9530s off the roof to vcast their ballot for eternity outside of technology, and alarm clocks fell on their heads every day for the next decade, who got on Gawker three times, successfully unsuccessfully, gave up and were forced to open thrift stores where they thought they were growing old and cried, who were burned alive in their innocent Prada shoes on Madison Avenue amid blasts of lead and verse and the tanked up clatter of the ad age daily emails of fashion and the nitroglycerin shrieks of the fairies of advertising and the mustard gas of cines tur intelligent art directors, or were run down by the drunken taxi cabs of absolute reality campaigns, who signed off the media bistro list this actually happened and trolled away unknown and forgotten into the ghostly days of Chinatown soup alleyways and EBT, not even one free beer, who sang out of their windows 7 in despair, fell out of the subway windows XP, jumped in the filthy red hat, leaped on Snow Leopard, cried all over the manual, danced on broken Linux distros barefoot smashed 5.25 floppies of nostalgic Mac OS 7.1.2p floppies finished the repair disk permissions and threw up groaning into the disk warrior, 
moans in their ears and the blast of colossal spindle whistles, who barrel down the information superhighways of the past journeying to each other's keynote gal got a jailbroken solitude webcast or TED talk incarnation, who drove cross-country 72 hours to find out if I was a venture capitalist or you were a venture capitalist or he was a venture capitalist to find out fiduciary, who journeyed to shareware, who died with shareware, who came back to shareware and waited in vain for that 30-day free trail to expire, who watched over shareware and brooded and loaned with shareware and finally went away to find the freeware, and now shareware is lonesome for her heroes, who fell on their knees in hopeless data recovery centers praying for their disk salvation in light and breaths, until the geeks illuminated its data for a second, who crashed through their Gmail accounts and jailbroken iPhones waiting for impossible headhunters with golden heads and the charm of reality in their hearts, who sang sweet blues to Monster.com, who retired to freelance to cultivate a habit, or became production assistants to tender QVC or what not to wear to Jersey Boys, or survivor auditions to the Black Entertainment Network, or the new school to Narcissus to Portland to the Bon Rip or grave, who demanded sanity trials accusing the rap music videos of product placement and were left with their insanity in their hands and a hung jury, who threw vegan chicken salad at Hampshire lecturers on feminism and subsequently presented themselves on the granite steps of the madhouse with shaven heads and harlequin myspace updates of suicide, demanding instantaneous lobotomy, and who were given instead the concrete void of bandwidth comb built data roaming fees cable modem repair sometime in between 1 0 and 5 p.m. buffers internet addicts anonymous and amnesia, who in humorless protest erased only one symbolic Mr. Show clip, resting briefly in Catatonia, returning years later truly bald except for some black thick rimmed eyeglasses, and wonder shows in an arrested development, to the visible madman Mondays of the awards of the Smallville of the season 6, two girls one copses and goats is foe at a JPG, bickering with the echoes of the soul, rocking and rolling in the midnight pottery barn bench Ikea dome and realms of love, dream of life outdoors, a nightmare, bodies turned to stone as heavy as the moon, with Mama Meta search finally, and the last fantastic Alta Vista query flung out of the taskbar of Windows 98, and the last window closed at Y2K, and the last cell phone slam at the wall in SMS relay, and the last furnished room emptied down to the last piece of design within reach furniture, a yellow paper 3M, trademark, post-it, registered mark, stuck on a CRT monitor in the closet, and even that imaginary, nothing but a hopeful little bit of hallucination ah, phyxoid, while you are not safe I am not safe, and now you're really in the total Oban pain soup of the internet and who therefore ran through the IC4 dummies books obsessed with Adobe Flash of the CS3 of the use of the Illustrator, the Photoshop, the After Effects and the InDesign Align function, who dreamt and made incarnate gaps and bevel and embossed through images juxtaposed and trapped the Cory Archangel style of the soul between two visual images and joined the elemental verbs and set the noun and dash of consciousness together jumping with sensation in AOL Instant Messenger to recreate the syntax and measure of poor Google searches and stand before YouTube speechless and intelligent and shaking with shame, rejected yet confessing out the soul to conform to the rhythm of thought in his naked and endless head. The Cory Worthington bum and crank that beat in time, unknown, yet putting down here what might be left to say in time, come after death, and Rose reincarnate in the ghostly clothes of Melissa Smith in the P. Diddy shadow of making the band three and blew the suffering of America's naked mind for love into an OMFG soft synth cry that shivered the blogs down to their last rapid share upload with the absolute heart of the tweet of life butchered out of their own bodies good to read a thousand more tweets. To what sphinx of silicon and solder bashed open their skulls and ate up their brains and imagination? Babbage. Solitude. Filth. Ugliness. Ash cans and unobtainable dollars. Children screaming inside the forum threads. Boys sobbing in wow raids. Old men weeping in the drudge report. Babbage. Babbage. Nightmare of Babbage. Babbage the loveless. Mental Babbage. Babbage the heavy judger of men. Babbage the incomprehensible prison.
Babbage the crossbone soulless routers and servers of sorrows. Babbage whose towers are judgment. Babbage the vast dome of flame war. Babbage the stun net governments. Babbage whose mind is pure machinery. Babbage whose blood is running money. Babbage whose fingers are ten armies. Babbage whose bandwidth is a cannibal dynamo. Babbage whose ear is a smoking fuse. Babbage whose eyes are a thousand blind windows. Babbage whose server racks stand in the data centers like endless Jehovah's. Babbage whose factories dream and croak in the fog. Babbage whose antennae and satellites crown the cities. Babbage whose love is endless gigahertz and megabytes. Babbage whose soul is electricity and banks. Babbage whose poverty is the specter of genius. Babbage whose fate is an Amazon cloud of sexless IP addresses. Babbage whose name is the mind. Babbage in whom I sit lonely. Babbage in whom I dream angels. Crazy in Babbage. Cocksucker in Babbage. Lack love and manless in Babbage. Babbage who entered my soul early. Babbage in whom I am a consciousness without a body. Babbage who frightened me out of my natural ecstasy. Babbage whom I abandon. Wake up in Babbage. Light streaming out of the sky. Babbage. Babbage. Robot apartments. Invisible suburbs. Skeleton treasuries. Blind capitals. Demonic industries. Spectral nations. Invincible madhouses. Virtual cocks. Monstrous bombs. They broke their backs lifting Babbage to heaven. Pavements, trees, radios, tons. Lifting the city to heaven which exists and is everywhere about us. Visions. Omens. Hallucinations. Miracles. Ecstasies. Gone down the American River. Dreams. Adorations. Illuminations. Religions. The whole boatload of sensitive bullshit. Breakthroughs. Over the river. Flips and crucifixions. Gone down the flood. Highs. Epiphanies. Despairs. Ten years animal screams and suicides. Minds. New loves. Mad generation. Down on the rocks of internet time. Real holy laughter in the river. They saw it all. The wild eyes. The holy yells. They bade farewell. They jumped off the roof. To solitude. Waving. Carrying laptops. Down to the river. Into the street. Three Fixoid. I'm with you on the internet where you're madder than I am. I'm with you on the internet where you must feel very strange. I'm with you on the internet where you imitate the shade of my mother. I'm with you on the internet where you've murdered your 12 followers. I'm with you on the internet where you laugh at this invisible humor. I'm with you on the internet where we are great writers on the same dreadful cyberspace. I'm with you on the internet where your condition has become serious and is reported on your blog. I'm with you on the internet where the faculties of the skull no longer admit the worms of the senses. I'm with you on the internet where you drink the tea of the posts of the spinsters of TMZ. I'm with you on the internet where you pun in the tags of your delicious the harpies of the bookmark. I'm with you on the internet where you scream in a straight jacket that you're losing the game of the actual tumblarity of the abyss. I'm with you on the internet where you bang on the catatonic keyboard. The soul is innocent and immortal. It should never die ungodly in a well-connected madhouse. I'm with you on the internet where 50 more shocks will never return your soul to its body again from its pilgrimage to a cross in the void. I'm with you on the internet where you accuse your rebloggers of insanity and plot the net art socialist revolution against the fascist national rhizome. I'm with you on the internet where you will split the heavens of Google images and resurrect your living human image from the superhuman tomb. I'm with you on the internet where there are 2.1 billion mad commenters all together singing the Final stanzas of man in the mirror. I'm with you on the internet where we hate and kiss the internet under our bed sheets. The internet that blogs all night and won't let us sleep. I'm with you on the internet where we wake up electrified out of the coma by our own soul's computer. Fans roaring over the roof. It's come to drop angelic bombs. The hospital illuminates itself. Imaginary walls collapse. Oh skinny legions run outside.
O starry spangled shock of mercy the eternal war is here o victory forget your underwear we're free I'm with you on the internet in my dreams you walk dripping from a sea journey on the information superhighway across the Atlantic in tears to the door of my apartment in the eastern night. Rider Rips 2009